Hello and welcome to a demonstration of Active Mesa X2C. X2C is an Excel plugin and what it lets you do is it lets you take existing Excel models and convert them into ready to compile code. What I have here is a fairly small calculation involving the calculation of an option price. So it's a financial calculation which takes an input of five values does some in-between calculations and then outputs the two resulting values. So let's see how we can turn this calculation into actual code. First of all, I'll take the risk-free rate here and I'll specify it as a constant. To do that, I basically map it to a scalar value. I can give it a name, like rate for example, and I'm done. Now we need to take care of the other four values and here I can simply select them by holding control and then map them to an entity. So an entity is something equivalent to a class or a structure. Now we'll call these parameters for short and they already have names that were taken from the column name here. So we can close this and we can finally perform the calculation. So once again for the output we can select the intermediate values as well as the output values and make another entity. So I'm going to call this entity Black Shoals after the names of the people who invented the model. And after I close this, my work is done. So I can now go into preview and actually see the way that this calculation will be expressed in a language such as C++, for example. So here is my output. As you can see on the left, I have a list of files that will be generated if we decide to go ahead and generate the project for this. So I have a globals file, which actually has the rate definition. Notice we chose to make it a constant, so it has a value here. Then we have the params class. This is essentially a structure which contains the other four values that we decided to store. And it also generates a nice constructor for us, which initializes all the members. And we have an empty constructor, which takes the values that we have in the spreadsheet. And then of course we have the actual calculation. So here is the, uh, the class that contains the Black Shoals calculation as well as the intermediate D1 and D2 calculations. So if we look in the CPP file, we'll see quite a bit of code here. Essentially the calculations from the formula that we had down below, you can see they're not as simple as they might appear. They have been converted to C++ using functions like stdlog or in the case of uh, normal distribution calculations, for example, using the boost math libraries here. So now that we're done, and we also have a standard AFX here header as well, just in case, now that we're done, we can actually go ahead and save it to a particular folder and even generate a project file so that we can subsequently work with it in an IDE, such as Visual Studio, for example.